EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the LA Chargers. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. Levis going to the air right away. A short throw taken in by Conquo. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. Play action now. Levis. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Levis on third down. That is caught, and he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Jet sweep, Boyd with it. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's gonna be swallowed up right away. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Now Levis. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So pass interference to call. That's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket. But instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. Hopkins, the man in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. 
Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled them as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Levis' throw taken in by Ridley here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Little bootleg here, Levis. That one's taken in by Spears. Nothing on that one, it'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Tim. Levis back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And now it's third and three. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Well, that's what's called being aggressive right there, but I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message, a hey, defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it, and offense trying to let him know he believes in him as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tony Pollard, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Titans get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 26. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. 
A good position to be in here, second and inches. They'll go again with Dobbins. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. On first and 10, Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now a toss left side for Dobbins. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Herbert on first down now. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Short throw to Disley. A gain of five, good enough for the first step. You gotta like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. On second down, here's Herbert. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. From the three, second and a yard. Here's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston from three yards out. And the Chargers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Now that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And we are tied at seven.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. Out of the gun again to Spears. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not that much. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Levis now off of play action. his man Pollard and he's taken down but not before reaching the 10 yard line big gains in succession last one was over 20 this one over 30 I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play so you wonder if they were ready for this one you have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't more plays like that will result in giving up points for a Titans touchdown. Josh Wiley from 10 yards out, and the Titans have taken the lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. And some room to run now. 
And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice gain there. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Out of the gun, Herbert. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 13-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Nine-yard line, second and six. Another run here with Dobbins. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Now it's Herbert. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Titans now just about ready to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Levis now on first and 10. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Levis. He completes it to Ridley. 
And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Levis, the hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now a second and two. They'll run left with Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Levis to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Back to throw here, Herbert. Looking left sideline, it's complete. A big change.
change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, <laughs> the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. Edwards now on first and ten. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Second and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. One of the best routes, one of the favorite routes of any play caller. He just ran that one. Nice little angle route. That's supposed to be a catch, and usually it is in the running back drop. Yeah, I mean, he's a running back, but he's got hands. He should have caught it. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain of 22. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Herbert now. Sacked right around the 17. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. Extra point try now from Dicker. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, 
both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? They head to facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. Fielded at about the 28. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Josh Palmer, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Herbert. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down now, but that clock rolling. Herbert throwing again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Charger is going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Herbert operating from the red zone. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters.
Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. First and ten. Here's Levis. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. One final shot before the half. Here's Levis. A quick throw there is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. More from L.A. in a moment. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Over the middle, it's complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 21 yards there on third down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first down, Justin Herbert. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now Herbert. This is caught. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Edwards is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. 
Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Here's Herbert. And it's caught. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. On first and 10, it's Spears. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Here's Levis. Hopkins on the ground over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game. And he's got a first down. Levis to throw off play action. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And now nothing but green ahead of him. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers. Hayden Hurst. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Brandon, is there any way you and I can join this quarterback in the zone he's in? He's absolutely feeling it. Touchdown after touchdown, throwing the ball. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17.
Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Working from the gun, here's Levis. Swinging this out for Pollard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield, everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Levis back to throw. He finds his man, Pollard. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. First and 10, it's Levis. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Levis. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Levis out of the shotgun now. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Titans get a bit closer. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass.
now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And able to get this out to the 25. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Slant route going to be caught by Palmer. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. Here's a diving catch right side. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves them from a three and out. On first and 10, Herbert, short throw to Disley. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and six. Herbert off of play action. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 27-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. This is caught. Touchdown! Josh Palmer, 27 yards. And the Chargers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Now second and five. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Levis to throw it. A short throw taken in by Conquo. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Levis now on first and ten. He finds Hopkins complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Time running short here in the fourth quarter. You're down three scores. And I think you've got a defense here saying, we just need to prevent the home run. So a good, smart offensive coordinator can use that as an advantage. And that's a nice throw there to pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Levis' throw pulled in by Hopkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 44-yard line, here's second and a couple. They'll throw it again with Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally, because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think you could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it with Pollard. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and eight. Levis looking to throw. Short throw taken in by Conquo. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third down and three. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Now Levis. And he is caught. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss they go back to pollard on second down 
four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Levis sets up to throw here. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the posts. After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. L.A. readies for its next possession. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Second and ten. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last says, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to let this slip away. A dependable running back is a coordinator's best friend, someone you can trust in those situations to push forward and get the yardage you need however possible. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, Above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Here's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 42. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. 
And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter block. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Kenneth Murray coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you've got a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or the lights out. <laughs> exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 101 yards on the ground here for Dobbins. And a first down coming up. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line. And now right out of the two minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. From the two now, second and goal. Spiller trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Herbert now. a touchdown but multiple flags down so let's sort this out so reverse the celebration we'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks and isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone i guess not content to get another three here late they'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal and i'm not sure he got there did they stop him they did. So Levis and the Titans now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. Now the fourth down stop, the first of a series of events that will need to break their way, but bottom line, they're still alive. Levis, he'll look to throw it. 
short throw taken in by Okonkwo. But the defense on him quickly at the six-yard line. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Here comes second down and five. Levis to throw. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Levis. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores, you know you need some providence from somewhere. They're going to keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and 10. Here's Levis. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Well, defensively there, you want to play it a little safe and keep the action in front of you. But you definitely are looking to give up plays like that. They still got the cushion of a two-score lead, but don't give them a freebie here in the final minute. This is first and ten. Here's Levis. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second down. Levis back to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. First and ten, here's Levis. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. One final try here for Will Levis. And this is going to be caught. So an offensive final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. The extra point here is good, but the late touchdown can only draw the score a bit closer as this game is over. So it's a win here for the L.A. Chargers, and it was thanks to the fine play of their quarterback, C.D., Justin Herbert. Yeah, this was a game for the ages, wasn't it? Six touchdown passes. He had this offense running to its absolute peak efficiency, and I tell you what, that's as good a game as you'll see at the quarterback position. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Southern California.